Hey guys, in this video we will be creating or adding Google Maps into your iPhone or Android app. Okay, so I have uh, a blank new or just deleted app.js file in my normal default project and I'm going to start writing some code. Now, what you want to do first is basically add a, or create a window like usual. So let's create a variable called win equals tie or titanium dot ui dot create window. Hopefully by now you're used to this, uh, what do you call it, syntax? This way, uh, this way of writing code in titanium because you'll be using it a lot. Now let's give it a title saying, I don't know, add my adding map, something like that, adding map and comma and let's change the background color to uh, let's say black zero 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 for now oops we don't need the comma here and we need the semicolon here now the next thing we want to do is create our map view okay so let's create a variable called map view equals titanium or tie dot map dot create view which is over here there create view like so oops and I don't want my C to be in capitals there we go and we are going to type in some options in here now I'm going to type them first and then I'll explain it to you after I run my simulator so bear with me now uh, the top I'm going to put it about 110 because uh, that's like the nice a good place to put, place your map uh, height's going to be about uh, 350 add map type there's a couple map types there's like standard there's satellite uh, there's hybrid and so on but I in this case I am going to use tie dot map dot standard type like so if you have time you can change this to like a uh, hybrid type or a uh, satellite type just go to the uh, API doc documentation to find out uh, region now I won't go over this in detail because when you're adding Google Maps to uh, your app what you need to know is the latitude and the longitude of your place you want to locate now I just googled uh, where is it there we go I just googled like uh, latitude longitude and it came with like a nice uh, website for me all I need to do is just like uh, search San Francisco go and it actually tells you the latitude and the longitude so let's copy this okay so uh, lesion and uh, latitude first latitude not latitude delta yet latitude is going to be this 37.77493 now and the longi longitude is going to be this minus 122.419415 it's basically the position of where you want to uh, locate oops moved it a bit now uh, latitude what we're going to write next is latitude delta now I'll explain all this what these means uh, after I show you the simulator and we need uh, longitude delta as well which is going to be 0.5 as well and that's it and outside that we are going to say animate is true oops not true true okay and region fit region are oh, so many typos is true and user location is also true and that's it and don't forget your semicolon at the end and all you need to do is like usual usual add map view to your win so win dot add map view and you want to open your win when your uploads so save your app.js and open iPhone simulator now let me give some space over here so that I could explain what uh, some of the code means okay it's launching it's coming up there we go and I don't need too much space like so perfect okay hopefully it's going to show you San Francisco is it 
yep there we go we have san francisco now if you're using or if you're doing this for the first time it might ask you to uh use your current location as a confirm or alert dialog it's just a pop-up saying okay you're cancel you can just press okay because uh if you're using a simulator one emulator to test this out because they can't really use like gps they can't really uh search for your location anyway so it doesn't really matter for now okay well, uh, you know what top is you know what height is and map type is basically the type of this map you can this is the standard map and you can change it to like a uh, satellite which is the satellite view and you can change it to hybrid which is also another one now the region when you're using google map what you want to do is use the latitude and longitude okay to locate uh, basically it's the point where we want to put the center of the map so this point over there this blue thing is uh, this 37.7 and minus 122 point something this is that point and it's indicating San Francisco because I googled it and found this nice uh, website which tells you the latitude and the longitude okay now the delta values which is over here latitude delta and the longitude delta indicate the zoom level of your map according to its center location so if you increase or decrease this value it basically increases or decreases with this uh your blue point being at the center of the map now this isn't my current location i actually live in the united kingdom so uh, that is because like i said uh, simulators emulators can't really uh play around with gps okay animate what this is it's basically either true or false it's a boolean value and uh, it's like zooming and movement animation in your map view so it's like all these uh, animations whether you want to do this uh, nice zooming animation you want to turn it on or off by default it's always nice to just turn it on because it doesn't uh, take or well, it doesn't take too much of your uh, computer power or ram or whatever you want to call it so i tend to always use it to true now region region fit is also a boolean value either true or false and it indicates whether the selected region fits the view dimensions given okay hopefully you understood that now user location is basically just a user location it's the location of the user it's basically uh, it will turn on and off this blue dot indicator if you say it's false it will turn it off okay if you're using an android emulator or if you're using an android phone it i think it will be an arrow not a dot okay <coughs> and it also disables your current location and in this case because i turned it to true it's telling me that i live in this seaside in san francisco which i wish i was okay so that was a really quick video on uh, adding maps to your uh app and the reason why there's the blank over here because i use the top 110 and this uh app what do you call it this itself has a height of 350 i hope you're already aware of that because i've used top height width uh left and so on in uh my previous videos quite a lot okay so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later